In this video, we're going to talk about the customer portal from the administrator side. Basically, how to be an admin for the customer portal. It's actually very simple. There's not a lot to it. First thing is, if one of your customers needs to sign up for the portal, you have to give them your customer portal web address. From there, they're going to go to it, and they're going to click this blue link that says, Create My Account. When they do that, they're going to fill this out. They must use a valid email address. They're going to fill out everything here, and then they're going to hit register. When they do that, the customer gets an email, and you're going to get a task in your desktop system the next time you sync tasks with the mobile solution. So the customer, when they get their email, they need to confirm that they're real. They're going to have a link to click on, and it'll allow them to sign in. For you, in the office, the next time you sync mobile devices, when you go to sync mobile devices, if you do a sync all, or you select tasks and sync, the system will bring in any task to let you know that a new portal account has been created. And this is very important. Anything below the sync button is junk. It is going away. It does not function, and it will be out of the software soon. So even though this says customer portal sync, it does not work. And same with legacy sync devices, so legacy mobile devices. Neither of these work. They are going away. Everything for your customer portal is controlled in this top syncing area. And this also controls your web stuff, so for your technicians too. We bundled it, we bundled it all in one spot. So the next time you sync tasks, what will happen is if a customer did create a portal account, you're going to get a task that looks just like this one. It's green. It's got some crazy looking writing. It's basically marked as complete already. And it'll start with a TW number for a task on the web. If you double click that task, go into it, it's going to give you all the information you need. It's going to basically say it's a customer portal created sign up. It's going to give you the customer address that they put it in, the email address, and the phone number. You're going to then need to reach out to that customer if you don't already know and find out who they are, who they need to be tied to. Um, you can either email them or give them a phone call. But every bit of information should be here in this task for you. Once you're done, mark it as complete and just post it to notes. It'll fall off your uh, open task list here. The next thing I want to talk about is when you sign into the portal, you should be able to use the same username and passwords that you use to get into the desktop. Um, any administrator or level one username will let you in the portal as an admin and allow you to make changes. If you're not able to get into your portal as an admin, Click, we need to do an update. Click Sync Mobile Devices. From the bottom drop down, select Sync Core Files, and then hit Sync. Once that's done, your new usernames and passwords have been pushed up to the portal side. You'll be able to sign in with those username and passwords that get you into the software on the desktop. So now I want to talk about getting some history up to the portal so your customers can see the most recent stuff. Again, the portal is only going to be as up to date as your latest sync with the mobile devices. So keep that in mind. If a customer calls you and says, I can't see a new task that I know you did, I don't see that I'm on the route schedule now, you're going to need to do a sync. But before I show you the mobile side, let me show you the uh, QuickBooks side. First of all, if we click the Update QuickBooks icon, if there's history in QuickBooks that we need to have on the portal, if you have QuickBooks invoice history, QuickBooks payment, or QuickBooks quote history that you want on the portal, Make sure QuickBooks is open, go to this menu, select whichever one you want. All three will lead you to the same exact pop-up. In here, you can put a date range of the history that you want, and then hit Import Invoice History. If you're doing quotes, import your quote, and the same thing for payments, import your payment history. Once that's done, the desktop now has that history under the customer detail, and there's buttons you can click to see that stuff. But we need to push this up to the web database now, because we have a database in your desktop side in your office, and then we have one on the web that controls the portal and your mobiles. Our next step, once we have that history, click Sync Mobile Devices. Again, we are only using the top dropdown. We will not be using anything below the word Sync or the button name Sync. I recommend a Sync All once a week, however often works for your company. But additionally, on top of all that, you want to sync core files to get any usernames or passwords that have changed up there. And then you want to sync your customer notes and additional information. This pulls a variety of information out of the customer detail and gets it up there. 
I also recommend a sync of your task history, a sync of your payment history, and a sync of your invoice history. So if you do these uh, one, two, three, four, five options, you'll be in really good shape. After that, the portal is fully updated and it's ready to be worked on. So let's say we got that task for that new customer and we basically need to tie them now to who they need to be tied to. The first thing that's important, let me get us back to the main portal page here. It's very important. This is not the sign-in area for your administration. If you're an admin and you need to go in and do administrative stuff, this is the sign-in for your customers. Right here, this admin login, this little blue link, click that. That brings you to your admin sign-in for your portal. So when you sign in, the first page you're brought to is your admin page. It really just gives you a lot of information about your company, who you are, where you're located, your phone number, how to get a hold of yourself. This is what your customers will always see. You can also change your logo. Maybe you've changed your logo, you don't like what's up there, we have a new one. Select what you want, hit upload. As soon as it's done, it's going to show up here. Our system will auto-size it. The last part of this is the web accounts. This is where you tie your new users to their profile. First thing is there's two options I'm going to show you. You can tie, let's say this new person who signed up, test at test.com. If you were to put in test at test.com and select a parent, maybe you have a parent with a lot of job sites and you want to be added to every job site. I only have one parent currently. You would select the parent that you want, hit submit. It'll automatically tie test at test.com that login to every job site that exists under that parent. So that's a cool tool. But I do not need that right now. So I'm going to show you the next option that we have. One of your customers calls you and says, you know, test at test.com, their email address, I don't know uh, what the password is. You can reset it for them. Select whichever email they have, put the password in, hit submit, you'll be good to go. Again, you can, same, you can sign up with the same email address over and over as I've done for some testing here. It will display it each time. You're very rarely going to see that. The last piece here is tying this new user to an account. So test at test.com is my newest uh, user. If we click edit, we now can tie them to whoever they're related to. So let's say this person works at Brazil Food Market. We're going to click add. We select them from the drop down, click add. And the system will add this here and it'll let you know. Now this piece, that's basically all you're going to do for most customers. Once you've done that, you can log out and this end is done. We have a video that shows you how the user side works. If you need that, just let us know. Hit the chat now button at the top of the software. Jump into tech support or training chat. Let us know that you need that. We'll get you that video. The other thing that's important here is I have a, a lot of companies that call me and they say, you know, I need to look at what my customers are seeing. So what I would recommend in that case Sign up at the portal as a normal user with one of your email addresses. Go in this area and just attach this user to every customer you want to see. Maybe you want to see what China Delight looks like on their side. Um, test one customer. You can add yourself to an infinite amount of accounts so that you can see what they're seeing if they call you and say something's not right. And the last piece really is if you want to remove yourself from an account. This one doesn't have a customer selected. I'm going to hit the X. That'll remove me from the account. Currently, I'm only tied to three accounts. That's basically all it takes to administer the portal account. Once you set these, when your users sign in, they'll be able to switch between accounts or see just their one account, and they'll get all the information they need.